All right, so a few things I want to do. Number one, I wanted to fix the chat bot, and I think I just did. So yeah, that's displaying now. Cool, fixed, awesome, great. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you, I literally just hit the icon for the eye and it came back up and it was showing chat. So literally the server was just dead for a day, so. Funny how that works. I am currently trying to find what the Panama Defense Force looked like. And I'm struggling because a lot of it is American uniforms. And I'm, I'm finding their police uniforms and I'm finding Finding the US kits and whatnot, but I'm not finding what the Panama Here. What if I search up Manuel what's his fame? No uh Norgia with Panamanian troops. So that's all solid green. Stuff. Yeah, I believe he was Panamanian. Uh, and why is that, Ghost Wolf? Sorry, I haven't been able to address it because I've been busy with other things. I'm hoping today to finish like five or six mission files this evening, which is what I wanted to do yesterday, but I needed to start the meet off. So, ooh. But I need, we're gonna be building up here, but I need to build debug kits. But I can build them up here for now. I need to put the Orbat down. Uh, that is 2024 for COG. Are you... <laughs> that... So that's part of SS, uh, SNS, Service and Supply. They've got Pink Floyd. Wow. All right. Cool. Add that to what I uh, what I need to add in my life now. So I'll make a note the next time we run in a Marga Sop, uh, we need to add the SNS mod to freaking do that. But anyway. Okay, like I said, looking for Panamasian military uniforms. That's a bunch of people holding military rifles. That's Nicaragua and Cuba. That's Castro. Oh, for fuck's sake. And again, the more American stuff. I want a picture. I mean, it all just looks like American stuff. I can't tell if this is him with American forces. Why can I not find a picture of this man with military?
That's Acid Gambit. That's him in Call of Duty. <laughs> Why is there a picture of him with Kiss? What? Just show me what the freaking Panamasian military looks like. Why is this so hard to find? I swear, I'm gonna go to Bing. That's what I've learned. Whenever freaking Bing doesn't show me what I want, I can look it up on Bing and actually find what I need because Google's algorithm sucks for looking for this shit. And I immediately find what I'm looking... I really hate. Ah. Uh, fine, we're gonna try Panamanium Troops 1980s. Thank you, Mutton Chop. One second. Uh, or let me look at what goes well. Same corner calendar at the moment. There is a 30 minutes between when we will start and when the power is going out. Uh, Ghost Wolf, we can change the time for us um, to do it on a separate server. But again, we'll talk about that more. I just need to front log these mission files and then we can get in on that. Okay. Why? No. Oh, I'm running out of copy room. That's... Copy current address. That is not... Oh, my God. You know what? That's fine. And it's New York Times giving me an infinite loading screen. Ah, uh, Mutton, can you, can you send it over Discord? Because New York Times is not loading it for me, which is kind of annoying. Oh, it's a video. Oh. Oh, God, what timestamp? I'm only seeing him with, like, civilian elements here. So I see a brown uniform. I see... But again, I'm not looking for his look specifically. I just want the Panamasian military. Panamanian... Yeah. But, I, again, I'm, I'm searching the general with his troops. Cold War Factions mod. You know, I mean... Maybe they added a mod that just has them in by default. Wouldn't that be fun? Good night, everyone. Why, why do research? Why make your own kits, you know, when you can just throw in a mod? What the hell is a dingbat? What the... What does that even mean? I don't know what any of that means. Yeah, GG well played, everyone. Alright, you know, I'm just gonna go through every single mod. Thermal improvement, vehicle medical, align. What does that even mean? What do you align? Foxholes is nice. Hate the digital camera, bro. Hate electronic warfare, yeah. HVT item tracker, oh cool, you can track HVTs with that. 
immersive gameplay, APS tweaks, cool boat, updated F15. <laughs> The Water Guard mod. Probably makes all the fancy shit work. What? Women don't play Arma. <laughs> to which people immediately say, well, what about Vix? And it's like, yeah, Vix doesn't exist. Uh, she's just a paid actor. Unconventional actors? <laughs> Oh my god, IDAP drones. Oh shit, that adds a lot of interesting stuff. Oh yeah, Vix is just a figment of our imagination. Didn't you guys know that? Two primary weapons, tier one weapons. I'm not sure if that's a legal mo Ah, whatever. I'm just the Zeus. Animate? We can have zombies? Damn. Bog, I know you're a fed, okay? Don't try to sigh at me. I did see your reply, by the way. Just I told. I think I replied. Give me a few days because I'm working on shit. But uh, I will get tears definitely by the end of the weekend. Oh, he's a little. He's a troll. Oh, he's the cute one with the little PKT and the flare mortar. Oh, he's adorable. PLP beach objects. Oh, you. Oh, they added stools. Excellent. If Vix is a figment of my imagination, I need therapy. Yeah. That's usually how it works. By the way, I'm telling everyone that you're just a figment of our imagination. Comma. I hope you know. Period. Don't come onto the stream and prove me wrong. Colonel, thank you for the picture. It's moot now, because apparently we have a freaking thingamajig, but... <sighs> Military units involved in Operation Just Cause. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to do a bunch of research here, aren't I? You feel complimented? Man, I don't know. I'm going to put the roster over here for now because I need to ask them where they want to spawn. We just literally need to take this mod. And I guess I need to look at King of Dwarves military link here. Okay, these are all American units. What about Panamanian forces here? Because we're going to be doing the airfield assault first. One second. Ah. <laughs> uh, anyway. We need to set up a defensive unit here. So they have heavy machine guns. We need... We need vehicles. Oh, God. Anyway. 
Let me look at the link again real quick. Uh, to their military defense. I don't need to do weapon templating. I'm just going to trust the damn thing. Uh, they had recoilless rifles. They had mortars. They had a Type 52 recoilless rifle. They've got DPU-4s and DPU-1s, which, funny enough, those are both in uh, SOG Send Prairie Fire. Team 6 now. Imaginary VIX noises. See, imaginary. I called it. Vix, thanks to a 23-month resub. But I know since you're in my imagination, uh, I hope you keep enjoying the ops. But you will because I'll just imagine you doing it. Otherwise, yeah, hope you get a kick, nice kick out of this scenario. So they've got helicopters and then planes. They don't have any. Oh, so they don't really have any APCs. They're mainly infantry. Do we have V-150s or V-300s? Well, I guess the easiest way to do it is type 150. We have Lada 150s. I don't think Lada 150s are going to work. Okay, what about a 300? We have a Switchblade 300. <laughs> I don't think we can give them Ladas and Switchblades. You know, we could try, but I don't think that's going to work. Do I have any ZPU capability? No, we only, we're only we just going to have to try and true ZU-23 as our fill-in gun. And then I guess we're going to need a mortar. Send in GOAT Team 6. Which we'll get from the yeah. Podnose system, right? How much do you weigh, boss? How much do I weigh currently? Uh, I was proud of myself because I was down to 190, but then the holidays hit and I went back up to 200 so according to Dante I go between twink and twonk status but I'm getting it back down I'm back down to 195 and then hopefully we'll lose more anyway Vic seems like a made-up name probably belongs to someone imaginary oh yeah definitely right yeah totally just browse the Panamanian defense force I am browsing it what do you think I'm doing Great white shark, Ben. Thanks for the nine-month resub. Hope you keep joining the operations. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. What I guess I do need to do, though, is figure out some planes here. Because if we're taking an airfield, we need to populate some of these hangers here. So let me go. Look back on that. We have the Bell helicopters. I will put a few of those down. Uh, in 1989, they had access to nine UH-1H Iroquois and four Bell UH-1Bs and four Bell UH-1Ns. So we've got room for some of that. We're not going to do the FH-1100, and we're definitely not doing the frickin' Super Puma. <laughs> we have C-212s. Uh, we've got... They do have Cessnas. And they do have trainer aircraft. Alrighty. Well, I guess we're just going to have to gun it. I mean, guys, we're basically, for the first mission, it's an airfield seizure. And I can't remember if there was any follow-on. I have to look at the notes I made for them. Yeah, the isn't didn't the AH-64 come out in the 80s or was it the 90s? I honestly don't remember. Yeah, in 86, but I don't think it debuted in Just Cause. I think it debuted in Desert Storm. At least that's what I thought I remembered. Yeah, all right. So there's the 172s. I knew they were in one of the mods we had. And I'm just going to take ZEI and do some templating real quick. I just need to make sure if, like, if GBUs spawn, I need to delete those because they wouldn't have those. It would be funny, but, you know...
Oh, and yeah, I did. I might have leaked and said that you got the thingy because I was very proud of you, but you know, yeah, yeah. We need to delete those if we find them because those technically, uh, yeah, the, the Panamanian forces don't have those. Anyhow. Oh, okay. Never mind. It was in Just Cause. All right. I I guess I was wrong, but hey, cool. So that means technically it can be used in this campaign, like a very early version of it, which, again, is kind of cool. And then when you're using DEI, you always got to check these for the barracks building here because sometimes it'll float. Now, they wouldn't necessarily be fortified, but at the same time, I just like adding the fortification. makes it a little easier. Do I have the bell version of the Huey? Yes, I do. Okay. So, you know, I can I can put a few of these out here. I don't want to do too, too many vehicle templates, but I definitely want to have, like, a handful down. And then... Well, okay, now, technically we should just do... A non-ion or police version would be nice. Something that doesn't have a ranger on the side would also be kind of nice, but if that's all we're gonna get. <laughs> yeah, we'll just put United Nations on it. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Deploy the UN, Heli. I don't know. The Vix I know doesn't need to ever go to bed. I think it's a cover. Also, you missed Bloodwing talking about bunny outfits and uh, butler outfits, but, you know. Wow. All right. There's That's a boost. Oh, yeah, we can't... I think it's the Maladin Defense Force one that doesn't have the text on the... Oh, God, no, they added text. Shit. Does the Chilean army have it? Yep. Damn it. I don't think the FIA one has it. Yeah, perfect. Just <laughs> little... Little desert symbols. Or camo, you know what I mean. Have a good night, Goober. All right, uh, infantry-wise, we're just gonna set everything up here. So we have a commander. Are you armed? Okay, as a handgun, that's good enough for me. We're gonna put one commander in there, and then I'll put another commander in the barracks building over here, and then we'll just kind of go down the list. I know, I could probably set it. The FIA one has Greek lettering. Ah, uh, I don't see it. Therefore, it's okay. Wink. You might hit the hay, too. Hawkeye, I wouldn't hit it. I would, like, gently caress it. Because that, be, that would be a little mean, but that's just me. All right, RPG soldiers, let's go. We can put a few out and about. And then we should have some turrets, right? I thought I saw some. I feel like that chicken from, uh, God, whatever it was called, uh, damn, what's that movie, Despicable Me 2, 3, whatever, I'm squinting around trying to find what the hell I need, because I'm a freaking chicken. All right, anywhere else we can put that 50 cal on this base, because I'm going to be honest, I don't really see, any well, I guess we could set one up like right here. And then just grab some sandbags. Good. They've got their own Hueys. You can use those instead of FIA. Damn. Rolling. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing, Burnside. Were you in the op today? 
that we just finished like an hour ago or under. If you were, hope you enjoyed it. You know, you're right. They they do. I'm just being incredibly stupid. Um, Because we saw them earlier. Right? So what am I spawning them for? Yeah. Doi. That is... You know, I'm not going to risk doing the bells because I'm not sure the bells actually existed. So we're just going to put those two down and then I'll put like, you know, one down here and then I need to get rid of that MI-8. Or we can keep it for the memes, but I try to, especially since it's for, you know, someone specific, I try to have that little extra bit of quality control there. Oh, mother freaking. It's been a while since you were challenged like that. Well, I'm glad you uh, had fun. That is the most important part of my job, is to make sure the player base enjoyed the operation. Okay, now what do I need to hide here? Where's the symbol for the MI-8? Okay, there's the symbol for that, but it's not hiding that, which means... Alright, come on. Yes! Ha! Alright. And then I set that to local, right? Cool. Alright, no MI-8s for us. This is what sleep deprivation and coffee does? Yeah, I'm a little hyper in my chair. Normally I'd be writing like, you know, something, but not tonight. Tonight we work our asses off. All right, going down the list for El Tigre here. Uh, we need some RTOs, RTOs would be good. Yep, and then we're gonna put one down here. And I'm gonna put another one down here. And then we're going to put one at the gateway over here. He's a guard. They're guards. Uh, squad leaders, we can decorate that a little bit. I'll put one over here. You got to remember there is like a limit to the amount of infantry we are supposed to technically put in these missions. So, you know, got to vary things out accordingly. Oh, they also have radios. That's awkward. Well, uh, machine gunners, let's do four. Oh, God. It's a, I think that's a GPMG. Uh, we'll do a few medics. Because, you know, why not? Vary the soldiers a little bit. Let me do a quick map purge. Yeah, don't need any of that. Uh, cell phone. Let me just look up phone. Don't need that. Any other rugged things? Yeah, let's let's get rid of that. Uh, Anything fancy-esque. Uh, we'll get rid of that and that as well. Yeah. Then we'll put down a few marksman slots in Overwatch positions. Two or three tops. Yeah, we did a few of Bo's things. Um, they were all right. It's just, I, if I recall correctly, his time slot was really difficult for me to make, so I was only able to make a handful before my life kind of took off again. And that's just kind of how things are. I'm really just a slave to my schedule and the commitments I need to make and do. So I'm not always able to keep up with some commitments simply because of how busy I become. I'd like to go over and give that thing a try again, but busy. We were very busy. But yeah, I've, I've played with quite a few different streamers and players and whatnot, and some I avoid like the plague because, well, I simply don't like them, and then others, they all right. And then some I actively work with and will continue to work with because I like what they do. Let me get a few RPG-18s out and about.
slave shrimp. Look, I'm gonna be honest, I am gonna try to get like four or five mission files done tonight. Is that absolute insanity? Absolutely. Do I care? No. It's mission file time, baby. Yeah, big and small dwarf. But again, it... Oh, we was very busy. But I have you guys to help keep me sane. <laughs> help me. second. Start spamming bear trap noises. Have mercy. Oh, I guess I do need to put, like, a few more soldiers in here would be nice. I still cannot believe what happened in this building from way back when on a Karma mission. Like, things just got super brutal. And it was kind of funny, but <laughs> it was pretty damn brutal. All right. I, that's definitely pushing it on like the higher spend like side of the AI, but at the same time the AI are really really spaced out, and then we're gonna have counterattacks come in anyhow. Uh, dwarf, I'll give it a listen later. I'm very particular about what I listen to while I do mission dev, mainly because it's just something to keep me awake. Yeah, the random IDAP crate. I'm not going to lie, I thought about deleting it, but it's like, it's it's a random IDAP crate. I mean, who doesn't love a good random IDAP crate? And then a little bit of extra flavor. I want to put some fuel vix in. Because why not? But give me one second. I'm going to tab out into Discord. I want to look at our battle plan for this campaign and I think I made a video on it and I never released it but I think I also yeah so initial airfield seizure and then a platoon attack and then two point raids and a platoon attack but here one second you might hear my voice So I have a follow-on objective there. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So that is right here. I'm gonna put a single 50 cal right there and then we're gonna use PDF. This will be like a 20 or 30 man garrison. So two, count them off with me, guys. Oh, he's he doesn't have any guns. Huh. All right, two, three. Well, let's ZEI yeah, template this area though. And then give me, um, I'm, not, I'm actually not going to do it to that building. Give me uh, some vehicles. Uh, someone Google it real quick. It's like Mutt Jeeps or something. But I think we actually do have some of those. But just remind me what vehicles the Panamanian Defense Force had. And we'll literally just throw them in for some flavor.
You know, because why not? Oh, they already had some stuff in here. That's quite nice. Mutt Jeeps and, yeah, Cold War era stuff. Sir, I'm trying to select you, please. Have mercy. There is no mercy. Ah, uh, we're not going to do Grenadiers because... <laughs> <laughs> Grenadiers, yeah, that's it's always a good choice, isn't it? Thank you, dwarves. Ooh, a jungle cadre. Oh, he is unarmed, yeah. Hide an RPG monkey back there. You never know when you're gonna need an RPG monkey. Oh, he's got the super bazooka. Oh, damn. All right, real quick, I'm going to do a map check. Let's see, how can I make this room suck? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> how can I be evil? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty evil. Another commander in there, because why not? Maybe make him surrender in the mission. That would be nice. Let me do a quick count here. Uh, I think that's about 20 to 30. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Dane, one short, but you know, that's fine. All right, and then we need Mutt. Oh, cool. We can pull him from the Colombian army. Close enough, right? We're not putting Frogman in it. Now, the real difficulty, I guess, is... Uh, let, me, let me ask him in chat. So for this first mission, comma, where do you want the spawn point to be, question mark? Do you want it to be the southern airfield for debug reasons, or do we want to put something in the water, question mark? Uh, and then now I need to go save it and put a bunch of extra stuff in it, and then we can set it accordingly. Falcon, I'm not sure they had the 1117 variants for Just Cause, but if they did, those would be a very rare thing in the campaign, and I might save them from other stuff. And they're acting as the U.S. Ranger group, which I'm trying to figure out. Well, I don't need to figure that out. They need to figure out where they want to start from, and then I'll just build it from there. I try to chase Tuna, especially for anything that's custom composition-based, like tunnel and bunkers and whatnot, but... It's hard. Liru Karma just cause op one. Um, that might be a problem because that could prevent a boot. 
that's actually a pretty big problem that, yeah, okay, well, uh, lovely. And then I need to unpack the missions and their thinamajig. Seven save to extract here. Cut. Paste. All right, cool. It's a commando, not quite a triple and seven. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. Because CFG patch errors can sometimes prevent servers from booting. Southern's fine. Also, comma, do you have a settings question mark? Or are you guys still handling that server side instead of mission client side question mark? All right, they said Southern's fine, so... Let's see. Grabbing a cover map module. Set up our standard multiplayer settings, custom position. Click that, click that. Select respawn position, awesome. I don't think they do dynamic groups, save loadouts checked. I can just send you the mission file and you can add them later, comma. Also, comma, are we still using the wooden boxes for arsenals? Comma, can you remind me what objects inherit the arsenal properties again, question mark? Foster check, no shrimping, right? No shrimping. Shrimping. Ah, you know what I mean. I always love this part because I just overlap two things of uh, modules and it, it creates a nice little border effect on it, which is always quite nice. Wish Armor of Forge had better mods like Star Wars mod, like Armor 3 has. So, Captain, you have to understand that for Armor 3, it took them, before we had the first iteration of Star Wars mods for Armor 3, it was Imperial Assault, which started showing up around 2016 and then that had a whole debacle and you didn't really see any more imperial stuff come out until like 2017 2018 um I, I think it would be better around 2018 um when we really started seeing swap coming out so that is 20 so taking those dates 2016 is three years after 2013 the reason i bring up 2013 is that's when arma 3 came out so it took three years for someone to develop a Star Wars mod for Arma 3. And then it took five years, not on top of the three years, five years total from 2013 to 2018 for J-Max to start up Swap and create that total conversion for Star Wars. Reforger's only been out for one year. Now here's the issue. Um, you are never going to see a Star Wars mod for Reforger. And that is because Bohemia has total control of the workshop and they've already made it clear that they're not going to be allowing for things that violate potential copyright stuff to appear on 
the workshop. Now, I don't want to officially put words in their mouth. I'm just basing that off of the stance that they've taken for removing Star Wars mods from the workshop in the past, even ones that don't have any ripped things from them. Which, actually, no, I need to walk back what I said, because there are, there are Star Wars mods on the workshop that exist right now. The reason they removed SWAT back in the day and, Imperi and, uh, and Imperial Assault is because they were ripped from uh, actual Star Wars games and then ported in a similar way Gmod port stuff over. So I take that back. I take back what I said. You can see Star Wars mods in Reforger. It just has to all be made from scratch and not ripped from any games for no IP violations and whatnot. So walking back what I just said, it is possible but you're unlikely to see it. This air is scaring me. That air is really, really scaring me. I might have to redo unit placement here. Because that could potentially prevent a boot on the server. So we're going to redo AI templating here because I don't want to risk it. Which means I'm going to have to redo 50 cals and whatnot. Okay, that's fine. So, it, it's still going to take time to dev regardless. Because making something from scratch is going to take a lot more time than just ripping it from another video game and then porting it over. Uh, there is already a Star Wars mod too, though. Um, at least, like, that's what I saw within weeks of Reforger coming out. There was already, like, Clone Trooper stuff for Reforger. I just don't know if it's still there, but I remember seeing it. But yeah, there's already Halo mods in Reforger because the Halo dev community is already working on stuff. A lot of modding teams are already looking into Reforger, but again, the whole point of Reforger coming out now is to let the modders start going at it. So that way, by the time Arma 4 comes out, all the mods that have been made in Reforger can be immediately ported onto Arma 4 because it's going to be using Infusion Engine. Probably a more up-to-date version of the Infusion Engine, but the Infusion Engine nonetheless. So I'm going to completely redo my garrison here because I want to avoid that patch file error. Because that could potentially prevent the mission file from booting completely. So what we're going to do is what I like to call retemplating the units. And the best way to do that is as follows. We're going to grab all of the stuff we want to do so like aviator kits airman kits i mean that's all fine um and we are going to literally just redo the placement of units and this is nice because then i can pick specifically what we put in And we can avoid placing any, like, sergeant garrisons or whatnot. So we've got that. We have the RPG-18. We have a marksman. We have an engineer. We have a machine gunner. There is also a super bazooka unit. Yeah, I'm keeping him handy. And then uh, we're not doing the M79 because that's just that's asking for trouble. And the squad leader already has the RTO makeup, so I'm not gonna. At least I thought it did. I think I've spawned the garrison one. He does not. Okay, so we want to put in the RTO. And at that point, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna set him as a squad leader kit anyway. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is right click, look at his attributes, and look at his identity tab. They're using American Spanish and a Panamanian head. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do in order to bypass any potential issues that this mod's units have is I'm going to now convert them all to CSAT, but then I'm going to go into the identity tab and change it all. No 40 mic mic because I don't trust it with um, Karma's group because the first mission I did, we had two grenadiers on op four and they cause both of them individually cost two mass gases. And I've determined that they're just too OP and unpredictable for what we're doing here.
And that's fair, Captain. I, again, Reforger has a lot of promise. There just needs to be a massive amount of interface changes because it's, it's built too much for consoles right now because it's also a tech demo release for consoles as well because Bohemia wants to penetrate the console market. Um, which is why, you know, we're either going to see mods for it or it has to change for Arma 4 because there's just been such a massive pushback on that regard. But, you know, we'll see. All right, now we're going to copy things one-to-one -one here. So, pilot... Let me see if he replied. Oh, shut up, white shark. Oh, no, that's an airman kit. Okay, so that's officer. That's the helicopter pilot. Uh, that's an RTO, which we're just going to say is the squad leader, for simplicity's sake. We have... Uh, two types of AT guys, and we have a Rifleman AT, which actually, no, we can just... Heavy AT for the bazooka. Who are you? You're the medic. Okay, so... We'll do that. I swear this will make sense when we have it all down. Just give me a second. Because, again, what this is bypassing is any issue that might be spawning on these units, because what I think is going on, because they have custom identity stuff, is they have a custom patch... And the error that's being kicked up is talking about the custom patch. So this bypasses the error if there's any units specifically spawning with custom patch framework. Plus, by redoing the units this way, I can also see unit symbolism, which makes it easier for me to macro the AI. So if I need to find, like, a machine gunner or an AT guy, it's a lot easier for me to find it. Engineer, like, you know, whatever. And then there's, like, three different types of soldiers here. So we'll just do that. And then we'll do the standard identity breakdown. So we go to attributes. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to set them all to one face because it doesn't really matter. Oh, my God. We can set them all to woman. Excellent. Yeah. Panamanian head one. F it. Uh, no call sign needed. Voice. American Spanish. And that should be fine. And then what we're going to do, this is now the really slow and kind of annoying part, is we load out edit, piece at a time. Uh, there, I don't think there is anything I really want to change with their loadouts. How many mags do they spawn with? Oh, we might need to. Because considering the amount of uh, stuff... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, there's going to need to be more than that. So I'm going to max out mags where I can. Because these guys do use AI mods, and I assume the AI mods are just going to have them, like, you know, constantly be suppressing and whatnot. So I want to be able to take care of that. Yeah, and then we'll re-garrison, and then we have that as a template for everything. So, you know, c'est la vie. But yeah. Mainly, I'm also waiting for the mission maker for the damn mod to, or for Reforger to come out as well, because that's when I'll be able to actually do some proper stuff with it. But we will wait. What? Okay, it's there. Yeah, they don't have, like, any ammo in here. Yeah, for Reforger, but... Like I said, it's it's all a ways away, guys. I don't want to give them meta kits because I'm worried that that's going to be too much. Because I know giving the medical to... Yeah. Yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out. Or we won't. Who knows? Bazooka! Do, 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 do. Yeah, they're not really going to do any moving, so we can just load them up with ammo. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah, the vanilla AT warhead. That's going to be completely filled. Yeah, he's got three in there. Ain't that something. Yeah, these guys do not have a lot of ammo, so I'm actually glad that I'm doing this because they need the ammo. Because they only have one mag. Like, Jesus Christ. You need more ammo than that, Broski. So, how's everyone's evening? Because this is going to be another, like, 30 minutes. And then we're going to make the second mission file. Which, I'm going to be honest, that one's also probably going to be only, like, 30 minutes. Uh, and then we'll get into the pog file, which also will probably be like only 30 to 45 minutes because that one's a bit easier. Uh, I just have to kind of change up how the map is, then add a few additional positions and just mark things up and change a few small things. But yeah, no, we should be good. You might be full. Yeah, he might not have a lot of ammo here. Oh my God, yeah, he doesn't. Uh, we're gonna need to put like an Alice pack on him. Oh, no, he's got the bandolier. No, we're going to do an Alice pack. Because he just doesn't have the ammo capacity he needs for this gun. So we're just going to change that up. Yeah, no, these guys would burn through. I'm also going to report this. One second. Also, comma, small thing, comma, I'm redoing all of the kits and transposing them onto vanilla forces because it was throwing a weird error that I was worried would prevent a mission file from booting, comma, and also the enemies only had like three or four mags a person, which, comma, if there's any suppression mods, comma, they're going to burn through that almost immediately, so I'm just quadrupling ammo counts just to make sure that there's still a threat. Keep the clients in the loop. So when they see it and go, Liru, why do they have like 20 mags? It's like, well, because, you know, I want them to be a threat against your player base, you know? So it's not just you breach in and then it's a cakewalk. No, I, I want to be mean. Because literally, they are spawning with four mags. That is 120 bullets. Do you have any idea how quickly an AI will go through four mags at the snail's pace that COG goes? No offense to them. I love that they go tactically. If they're fighting AI that then start, you know, mag dumping them from range, they're going to literally... <laughs> the poor AI are going to burn through, like, all of their freaking ammo before Pog even moves from, like, one position to another. All right, and then we delete the entire back line without deleting all of our work. And then I need to spawn two sets of M2s. Look, it doesn't matter where from. And then do I have... Actually, no, I wouldn't have 240s, because 240s were not really... Yeah, they were. those weren't new. I don't think they'd have PKMs or PKTs either, but this is our... That is our force there, Chief. And then, even better, I can attribute this. Uh, we can send them to perma stand, and then I can pathing disable them. And congratulations, this is our unit template, so let's take it a step further. Let me grab a mutt jeep. Unset his positioning. And then I can grab a machine gunner and put him on the third seat, because I think he can shoot out from it. Yep, because he's holding the gun. And honestly, I think that's really it. They don't really have... Unless someone can name me like a transport vehicle. But beyond that, I can... We can set up some of those.
If you want to be depressed, just watch an AI machine gunner. <laughs> and Zeus, yeah, he really can't hit shit, can he? Hold on, just checking. M108 or M35, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just checking real quick. We should be fine. And yeah, I already I already have the Browning set up, but let's see. Let's let's search one of those terms. Uh, thirty-five. Uh, huh. You know that wasn't that wasn't the one I was thinking of. But yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean the Panama. Yeah, they definitely had those, right? Oh yeah. God. Now that that's a transport truck. What about the 108? I I think that's a bit too modern for what the they would have uh, they, what they would have had. Uh, let's think. Let's do the 809. Oh my God! What just where's the damn UK 3CB Cold War tab so I can look on early and just use those damn trucks? So we can have a gun truck not doing the tow. We can have an open transport, ammo, recovery, refuel, repair, and that can be our little template. Perfect. All right, and then they just got back to me saying that. that all right, cool. I will BRB one second. Uh, coffee. <laughs> but when I get back, we're going to garrison these two bases and then do some test dev, and then we should be fine. So BRB in a second. All right, cool. <sighs> so now we're going to do re-garrison work. Uh, let's just go down the list here. Any helicopter pilot? Uh, no, we'll go from here. Any ZU-23 guns? We're going to do one. I'm going to put it out over here. One on the southern side, one on the far north, and then I'm going to... Collect it with some sandbags. Give 
me some more. that set uh going down the list i'm not going to put a mortar position here but i'm going to put some 50 cal i want them on the checkpoint defense and i think only yeah three will be good also keep count of our ai if you don't mind let's make sure it doesn't go above like 50 in this area so that is one two that's five so far uh, helicopter pilot, I do want to put one in here, so six, and then another one in here, seven. Aviation is next. So we're going to do eight, and then nine. They had, um, they had Z, either ZSU or ZP one and fours, but we don't have the quad barrel, and we don't have the single barrel, so I just have to go with the twin barrel. And that's literally just a fill-in, because I know it exists in SOG Prairie Fire, but, yeah. I, I have to fill it in somewhere. But anyway, we're at 9 AIs. Let's go 10. Let's do them in all the critical positions. So 10, 11. 12. 13. And then one on the tower down here. 14. 15, 16. Next unit is a marksman, which I think it's meant to be a medic. So, oops, one second. Yeah, I don't see a medic symbol. So now let me just override. What was the number I came to, guys? Can someone remind me? Because I already forgot because I'm a scatterbrained little chucklehead. Uh, no, we want to go to attributes and override the identity and face to Panamasian ones. And you can hit this button to. Esperando. Good enough for me. We're at 16. All right, let's do three or four medics. So 17. Eighteen. Nineteen. Now nah, we'll, we'll leave it there. Bazookas definitely want to do a few of these. 20. And again, 50 to 60 is our sweet spot here. Um, 26. Do at least five of these. Thirty one, thirty two, thirty 
33. 34. No. 34. 35. Thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine. Where's the officer? Did I skip him? Forty, forty one. I guess I did skip him. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, and forty-five. Give me the officer again. There's an office in here that I want to, yeah. Forty-six. 47, 48, 49, let me get to 50 and then fix that little thing, 50, a few things I want to do actually, uh, let's get rid of that, and let's get rid of this and instead do like a comm tower. Oh my god. Good enough. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three. Four, fifty-five. I'm gonna bump it to seventy. Fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. I'm a horrible human being. Sixty. Sixty-one, sixty... Let me Z-E-I these. Sixty-one, sixty-two, Three, I need to go over and delete phones and shit again. Sixty-four. Sixty-five. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Sixty-nine. Giggity. Seventy. Purge. No sleep maps.
Okay. I'm just thinking of everything like modern to then like go in and delete, you know? All right, now I'm gonna group things up in sections. So I want all that to be grouped up. I want all of this to be grouped up. Uh, I want all of that to be grouped up. All of that. All of that. Did I miss the grouping? Yes, I did. All right, cool. I'm gonna re-template this in a debug zone over here. And then we also need to redo it over here. One, two. I'm not adding a mosquito script. I'll give you credit, that is kind of funny, but I'm not gonna do a mosquito script. All right, going down the list, we'll have one officer. I need an office looking, wait, nope, that corner. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Uh, we're shooting for 30, so that's three. We'll do one medic, wherever the medic setup stuff is. If I can find some, that would be great. I know there should be some in here somewhere. If not, oh, there's a stretcher. Four. At least two radio guys, so we'll do five and... Six. Super Bazooka. Seven. RPG, one on the corner. Eight. Two or three of the light RPG single shot units. Nine. Ten. And eleven. Again, I'm evil. Machine Gunners, 12, 13, 14. We want to give them good positions of fire. 15, one for internal so he doesn't miss, so at least it guarantees a casualty. DMRs will put up to two, 16 for a scout unit. And I think that's going to be it, because there isn't really anywhere else I can put them. There's a few spots, but, eh. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And then the rest can be filled by regular soldiers. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. I might bite, bump this up a little bit. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30. I think that's fine. Because the previous iteration we did 29 anyhow. And that should be that. Let's do a quick boot test. But before I do that, two things we want to change. Number one, I always like guaranteeing my own Zeus module because that's just my signature. So... God, we spent an hour 20 on this. It's usually double the amount of time I spend on a, a Karma file. But we're establishing a new campaign. I'm trying to iron out as best I can.
And then I need to set one of these to player. So that'll be everything in there. And if I recall correctly, it's a US ammo crate and a wooden box ammo crate for their arsenals. So that would be... That. And then it is... Oh, that was a uh, silly that one I could be wrong but if I recall correctly these are the arsenal so I'm gonna clear these out this is what they have tied to their scripts when you go into equipment storage clear I'll throw those down And then can someone look up real quick what time the air assaults were done in Operation Just Cause, like the first two or three airports they hit? Can someone just give me a time of day and a date if you can? And then I can just transpose that. Um, if anyone doesn't mind typing that in, it would save me five minutes. I'd appreciate you. Ozzy, how you doing? Just trying to finish up this mission. Fine. From what? Ah, fuck. What if we spawned from that mod? It could be the helicopters. Uh, we spawned out the 50 cal. Or it could be something tied to their actual identity files. We haven't set a respawn yet, so I guess we have a second to actually check. I'm going to try deleting the helicopters then. And hope to God it's tied to the freaking helicopters. And if it's not, well, we'll just continue trying. Respawn position. Staging point. Uh, let me try. Deleting these four. Because it could be a patch on the Hueys, it could be a patch on the infantry, but we're just going to slowly delete them until we find the bug and fix it. Nope, still deployed. Uh, U.S. Invasion of Panama began December 20th, 1989 at 12.46 local time. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Uh, so we're just going to go into environment and copy that date, December 20th, 1989. Just, oh, God, that's cold. At 12. 12.46 a.m. would be... So that would be 0.46. Oh boy, it's dark. Alright, now the really annoying part... Because uh, there's nothing tied to the kits. The only things it could be is... Let's try changing them all to a vanilla face. That didn't work. And then we'll try a transpose. And if a transpose doesn't work, then I'm out of ideas. Because those are all that. The Mutt Jeeps from 3CB. It might just be the voice files. Uh, it might be a residual. It's probably a residual. If not, then it's a mod set thing, in which case we're in trouble because that's something I'm not going to be able to fix. 
Um, so here's what we're gonna do. New. And then we're just gonna paste it all over. That is a problem. Oh, and it's still going to be laggy. Great. Awesome. Ah, fuck. It's the uniform, isn't it? Spawning it all until I get an error so I can try to pinpoint what fucking unit is causing that issue. Because it's something item related because we cut all the kits out. I hate these types of errors so fucking much. No, everything spawned. So what's causing the error? Honest to God, hate this shit. Yeah, no, I know. This is why I fucking hate Mission Dev. I just hydrated, don't you worry. Well, like I said, this is how a 45-minute dev job becomes literally double that time. And I love how now when I load it, because I decided to load all of that in my roster, now my frames are trash. PDF gear units. Hold on. I have a dumb idea. What if... Nope. I don't fucking know. Well, the mission file is being super slow. I am very much tempted to scrap this because I'm going to be honest. It's literally a 30-minute dev job. Now that I know what I'm doing and now that I know what error to actually look for. So we're, I'm going to fucking just chuck that in the fucking bucket. bucket. 